Hi drawing class! I wanted to make this video for you to show you my drawing setup for project 4, the cut paper portion of the assignment. You can be working from a reference photo for this portion as opposed to the pastel drawing where you should be working from life. So you can see my photo reference here. I'm working from my tablet. I don't have access to a printer right now so I used my tablet and uploaded the photo I wanted to work from. This is a photo I took when I was exploring Utah with my father. These are the natural arches. I thought it would be a really cool photo to replicate in cut paper collage. You can see my tools. I'm going to be using mostly a glue stick. It seems to be easier than working with the good old Elmer's glue, but if you are working with this liquid Elmer's glue, um, an old paintbrush is nice because it'll help you move the glue around on the shape that you have cut out and help you adhere it to the surface. But I found that the glue stick was a little easier for me. Obviously I have my pencil for drawing and scissors work, but if you have access to an X-Acto knife it may be a little bit easier. You can create some more subtleties in your cuts that may be more helpful to replicate this natural landscape you're applying to your surface. You can see my variety of colors and you can see that I'll be using a lot of oranges, reds, and yellows, and creams, and tans to come up with this natural arch. Now let's look at my actual drawing. So I used very simple shapes to build the structure of this drawing. Almost like if you were looking at a paint by number, but we're thinking about applying the shapes of color with paper. And you can see the shapes that I've come up with. Very simple, but I will build these shapes with my cut paper and I will be adhering them with that glue. You can already see the background color, those blues. I've brought in, there's this beautiful horizon behind my arch and this layer of mountains. Also these um, forest that sits in the center of my archway. So I wanted to apply my background first. By applying my background, I'll then build my arch in the cut paper colors and shapes. And the arch sits in front of the background elements anyway. And so I'm already starting to build the space by layering my background first. So if you do have background elements, anything in the sky above the horizon line, it may be good to apply that because the foreground is usually closest to the viewer. And so you want those background elements to lay behind those foreground elements. I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. And I hope this was helpful. Keep a lookout for the time lapse video I will be uploading as well that shows my process with this cut paper project.